Welcome to this video. Get your app ready to go to market in the Windows Store. In the previous videos, the ins and outs of Windows Phone App Studio and how to get to the source code and make a modification, you saw how to create Windows Phone and Windows Store apps using the web-based App Studio tool and then modify the source code in Visual Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your app ready to be published in the Windows Store. If you're interested in publishing the Windows Phone version of your app, you should watch the video Get your app ready to go to market in the Windows Phone Store. By the end of this video, you'll have seen how to get started with publishing a Windows Store application created using App Studio in the Windows Store. After that, it's down to you to come up with great ideas for apps, develop them, and then publish them in the store. Before I get started showing you how to publish your app in the store, Here's the store as seen by a user. You can see that the apps are placed in categories and are searchable. The store also shows full details of each app such as pricing, features, description, screenshots, ratings and other details. You should take a look at apps similar to yours in the store to see how they are described by their publishers. Before you get started, you must complete the Windows Store registration process. If you already registered to publish your App Studio apps to the Windows Phone Store, you can use the same Microsoft account to sign in here and you'll find that most of the profile information is already in place. There are a couple of extra steps you'll need to complete before you can start submitting Windows Store apps. First, you'll need to verify your account. The steps are different for individuals and company accounts. You can find out about this process on the Accounts Types, Locations and Fees page in the Dev Center. Second, if you plan to charge for your app, then you must provide information about your payout account and provide relevant tax forms. If you're not ready to submit your app, you can still reserve the app name you want to use as soon as you have registered for your developer account. App names are unique in the store and reserving a name will prevent anyone else from using it for their app. After you've registered for a developer account and it's been verified, you can begin preparing to submit your app to the store. When you submit an app, it goes through a certification process that is part automated and part performed by people who run and test your app manually. I want to highlight some resources in the Dev Center that you'll find useful when you come to publish your own app in the Windows Store and that will help you understand the requirements your app must meet in order to pass certification. You must write an app description that will be seen by people browsing the store. A good description makes your app stand out and helps potential customers decide to buy it quickly. It must also accurately describe the features of your app. To publish an app in the Windows Store, you must give it an appropriate age rating. Some countries and regions require that you also rate your app through a specific ratings board. The Windows Store reaches customers in over 200 countries and regions around the world. You can choose the markets in which you'd like to offer your app, but it is your responsibility to ensure that your app meets any local legal requirements. The resources on this page will help you understand the certification process in more detail. The app submission checklist helps you prepare and organise all the required info so that everything's in place before you submit your app. The certification requirements describes in detail the criteria an app must meet to be eligible for listing in the Windows Store. Avoiding failures is a collection of tips that will help your app get through the certification process. Resolving common errors describes what you can do if your app doesn't pass certification for some common reasons. The first thing that you'll need to publish your Windows Store application is the app package. If you're using App Studio, there are two ways to create the package. The first is to download the package from the App Studio website. The second is to download the source code from the App Studio site and build the package using Visual Studio. You'll typically use the second approach if you're enhancing your App Studio app by customizing the code in Visual Studio. Before you generate your app, you should associate the app with your Windows Store account on the Publish Info tab. 
You can download the published package from App Studio by clicking on the Download Published Package link. You can use Visual Studio to capture screenshots of your app. You'll need at least one screenshot when you submit to the store. When I click Capture Screenshots from the Store Context menu in Solution Explorer, Visual Studio launches the app in the simulator. That enables me to change the resolution and screen orientation and capture screenshots from the running app. You can find more information about the requirements for screenshots on this page. In addition to screenshots, this page contains information about other images you may need when you submit your app to the store. You should also look at other apps in the store for ideas about what types of images you can use with your app. From the Store Context menu in Solution Explorer, you can create your packages for uploading to the store. In this wizard, you're asked to sign into the store to enable Visual Studio to download important information to include in the package. You can choose to use either an app name that you previously reserved, or reserve a new app name. You can specify the version number of the package. You can specify the output location for the package files. I'll click Create and let Visual Studio build the packages I selected. After Visual Studio has created the package files, you're given the option to test your app with the Windows App Certification Kit. This is the same kit that is used to automatically test your application when you submit it to the store. So it's better to identify any problems now so you can fix them before you submit the app. Remember that the certification process also includes manual testing. So just because your app passes all of the tests in the Windows App Certification Kit, doesn't mean it will necessarily complete the certification process successfully. I'll click the Launch Windows App Certification Kit button. I'll select to run all the tests and wait for them to complete. I can review the final report if any of the tests fail. I've signed into Dev Center and navigated to the dashboard where I can see the name of the app I reserved when I created the package in Visual Studio. As you can see, it's currently marked as incomplete. I'll click on Edit to continue with the submission process. This screen lists the steps I must complete to submit the app for certification. I'll start with the selling details where I can specify the pricing model and the markets. I'll make this a free app that can be sold globally. I must also choose a release date and assign my app to one of the categories in the store, such as travel. In this step, I can specify any specific hardware requirements and whether my app has been tested to meet accessibility guidelines. I'll click Save. Next, I'll specify any other services my app uses, such as Windows Azure Mobile Services, and whether my app will use in-app offers to sell additional features. My Visit Venice app doesn't use any of these, so I'll click Save. In this step, I'll specify an age rating for my app. If my app is a game, I can upload any relevant game rating certificates. In this step, I must declare whether my app uses any cryptography or encryption. Now I can upload the package, either the one generated by App Studio or the one created by Visual Studio. Drag the package file into the box to begin the upload. When it completes, the site performs some basic validation of the package before you can continue. Now that I've uploaded the package, I can complete the final pieces of information for the submission, such as the app description, a 
a list of features. Images and screenshot. copyright and trademark details, and support contact info. Apps that are internet connected must have a privacy statement. You can find more information in the app certification requirements for the Windows Store here. In the final step before submitting your app, you can provide any information, such as credentials for testing the app, that will help the testers understand and use the app. I'll click on the Submit for Certification button to complete the submission process and put my app in the queue for certification. I can check on the certification progress on the dashboard. Certification typically takes two working days to complete, but this could be longer in some circumstances. If your app fails certification, you can view the certification report to understand the reasons. The Dev Center also provides information that will help you get your app noticed once it's in the store. The links here will provide you with further information about marketing your app. These links will provide you with further information about how you can analyse and improve your app. For example, you can see who is downloading your app, obtain app usage data, and manage the release of updates from the dashboard. Thanks for watching this video. I'm looking forward to seeing your great apps in the store.